Welcome, please. Mel Gibson. Denzel Washington. Robin Williams. Kylie Minogue. Clint Eastwood. Tom Cruise. Here he is in all his splendor. Ladies and gentlemen, Muhammad Ali. <laughs> There's, there's... Don't point at me. Sorry. <laughs> it's, it's something that... <laughs> See, we cut black folks don't like white folks pointing at me. But it's all right for you to point at me. It wasn't so much I interviewed him four times. It was that if you put those four interviews together, you have the rise and fall of a great athlete. Maybe the greatest boxer has ever been. Like being interviewed, you can see it's in the way that you, you sit and the way you are. That you don't True. like doing it. <laughs> so, so therefore, well, I mean, it's a perfectly e easy question, de a decent way to ask you about it, being it, a journalist. I, I mean, in other words, if you were me, what would you do now? Well, just wrap it up. <laughs> um, but do you find, in fact, that this what could be best described as your equipment? in fact, hinders you, perhaps, in that pursuit. I'd like you to explain what you mean by my equipment. <clears throat> well, people watching... and, and I, who could not have got a job at the BBC as a commissioner because of my accent in those days, it became the thing to have my kind of accent, to, to have get a, a what job. we call a regional accent. And people forget just what a huge shift it was, you know, in those days. It was a very exciting time. The first thing that we'll see here is, is an extraordinary example, not of the joy of interviewing somebody, because interviewing didn't come into it. It was the joy of working alongside people who were brilliant at what they did, who were extraordinary in their imagination and wonderful in their, in their gifts.